right now I'm going to a book signing for a book that's about health and fitness. But this is the only big meal I've had today. No, it's not very healthy, but I just want to clarify that, you know, it's a splurge, okay? Okay. I'll get back on track tomorrow. We're going to our dog. Okay, guys, I just brushed my teeth in the car, put the other one on, uh, refreshed my makeup, I'm fixing to spray perfume. I can't do it right now because Cass is in the car, so I gotta get outside to do it so she don't get a headache. So, I wanted to do a high definition clip, and this is the only one that we're gonna get, <laughs> probably, because uh, I'm gonna try to do everything else on my phone. But I'm fixing to go meet Carrie Underwood, so I'm so excited. <laughs> Cassie laughed at me when I was brushing my teeth. But I just ate enchiladas, and I didn't want enchilada breath, so, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Peace out, Girl Scout. Wow, I'm leaving. Hey. Way to thug. I wanted to say the Green grill. Green Hills Grill. Green Hills Grill. I Don't wanna say it too fast. <laughs> I wanna say the... I was gonna say the grilled cheesery, and that's totally not it at all. But it was really good. We had a very nice waitress, too. Yeah, Caitlin, you awesome. did a great job, Caitlin. <laughs> Thank you so much for your awesome service. Okay, now I'm gonna go. So. We are home. Mm -hmm, Cassie mm -hmm. drove home from Nashville. I drove to Nashville, so praise him for getting us to Nashville and home. Uh, also, I met Carrie Underwood tonight, so that was super fun. I will explain that all later. Um, you said you're getting tired. I can hear it in your voice. Cassie went on a date at the Cheesecake Factory by herself. With me. It was very romantic. I love myself, man. Yeah. Uh, so she had fun while I met Carrie Underwood. Um, it was a fun day. We had a fun time. So, very glad I got to go. Thankful that I was able to get a ticket and all of that when they went on sale. Whenever they went on sale. I don't remember the date that they went on sale. But I bought one and yay for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna say what I need to say tomorrow morning because I can't think right now. My brain doesn't want to think. So, anyway, subscribe to my sister. Thank you. Peace out. Hey guys, good morning. It is, it is the next morning. I wanted to talk about my meet and greet with Carrie Underwood and how all that went. So the Q&A session, they had a Q&A session and it lasted probably, I would say like 45 minutes or so. And then they started the line for um, the pictures and stuff. So we did that. And as I was standing in line, I was hearing everybody say, I don't know what I'm going to say to her. And I, I was, the whole time I was just thinking, you know, the person that encouraged me the most to get a ticket to this event was my dad. And he knew that I was questioning it because he was having surgery two days before the event. And I was like, so I'm just going to talk about my dad. Um, so I uh, go up to her. We smile. She says, hi, how are you? I'm like, good, how are you? We take the picture. They did have a stool in between everybody and the books were on display on the stool in the meet and greet pictures. And that is because they didn't want any hugging pictures, no handshaking because of the flu and all of that sickness going around. I totally understand that because the flu is just insane. And 
you know, she's got babies at home. She needs to be healthy, you know. Let's try to keep the flu away. So we took her picture and I went up to her and she's beautiful, by the way, absolutely stunning. She's a really beautiful person. God did good. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I'm standing in front of her and I'm just like, thank you so much for having this. Um, I wasn't sure that I was gonna get to come because my dad had surgery two days ago. And she said, well, how is he now? And I said, he's good. He got up on the walker today. Thank the Lord. And uh, she said, she said, that's good. She said, uh, my dad had heart surgery a year ago. And it's always crazy when your parents are going through something like that. And I was like, yeah, but he's doing good. Uh, God's in control. And God's got it. And um, she said, yep. Then I said, thank you. She said, thank you so much. And it was just so sweet. And like the fact that she asked how my dad was doing was pretty cool. So I'm just going to say that Carrie Underwood's praying for my dad now because we had that whole conversation, you know. So uh, the more prayers, the better, right? So that's, uh, <laughs> that's my meet and greet story. It's super simple, but it was so cool to tell one of my favorite people ever, Carrie Underwood, about my dad, who is such an inspiration to me. Um, because after being paralyzed from the waist down for two and a half years, he still is pushing along. He is getting on the walker. He's making laps, which right now he's in the hospital. But he did get on the walker yesterday. So um, that always pushes me. You know, I see my dad and I'm like, hey, if he's going to push himself, if he's going to push himself to walk and I'm able to do that, I need to push myself. I need to get my steps in. I need to do the things that my body is capable of doing and just be better and be healthier and make good decisions. So, um, that's really, that's really it. Um, Carrie Underwood's book, Find Your Path is out now. It's all about health and fitness and it's a simple approach to health and fitness. It's not about a fad diet, which I am super excited about. It's a, it's a lifestyle that you can actually live. Uh, cause there's so many things out there right now that just don't make any sense. And you cannot stick to them, but this you can. So be sure to check out her book. I will leave a link in the description below. Also, we are praying for Nashville. Um, my sister seen some damage a little bit yesterday. I was paying attention to driving, so I wasn't really looking around everywhere. Um, but we are praying for Nashville. And I'll put some links in the description below for some t-shirts that you can buy to help towards tornado relief and all of that. And yeah, I bought a couple of shirts and I'm excited to get those in, but I was even more excited that I was able to help do something, you know, for the tornado relief because I can't be there and volunteer. Um, at the least that I can do is buy a shirt and let all that money go towards tornado relief. So if you want to do that like I did, check that out in the description below. Again, Find Your Path is out now. You can order it at Amazon, Target. Um, Barnes and Noble yeah so I'll put links down below um, I'll probably link the Target one because there's an exclusive edition and you get like an extra chapter I think so I'll link that one down below so yeah I hope you enjoyed my main grade story short and sweet but I was glad I got to have a conversation with her um, she's super sweet and hopefully I get to meet her again someday for those of you that haven't met her yet I hope you have the chance to meet her someday because it's always cool to meet one of your favorite people it's just really neat oh so yeah that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe i do have a goal of hitting 500 subscribers so if you want to help me out that'd be great uh god bless you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace out